This morning Wednesday, the CCSA announced the latest daily COVID figures for Thailand. Results are, of course, based on testing carried out between 24 and 48 hours ago. The numbers reported are 2,680 new cases, with just 280 reported from within prisons, the rest within the community. In the past 24 hours, 35 new deaths have been attributed to COVID or previous conditions exacerbated by the virus. In the Deep South, military operations now include the use of drones, added manpower and support by the Navy to put what would be illegal immigrants off from entering the country from Malaysia, which is still in lockdown with its own epidemic numbers. Daily reports of groups being caught and taken into quarantine hit the news wires. And helicopters too, loaded with cameras and heat-seeking devices designed to identify people crossing, now cover the area. Koh Samui has reopened to those already within Thailand, requiring that visitors have evidence of negative testing or proof of both vaccines. This, as most on the island, have had or have been offered vaccines. And Chiang Mai is looking to resume normal business with no on-site alcohol drinking in malls, restaurants and markets, with plans to allow normal opening hours too. This after a lull in local COVID numbers. Investigations here in Thailand are expected to be announced soon, following global raids on drug dealers, bikey groups and gangsters in Australia and New Zealand, with claims that amongst other crimes they were importing illegal products from Southeast Asia, specifically Thailand, all were caught after an 18-month to two-year operation that saw the police work with the FBI to monitor phone apps used by criminals but actually run by the FBI itself. Operation Trojan Shield is likely to become a regular name in the news over the next few months as arrests are set in numerous countries globally and refer to the supply of methamphetamine as well as money laundering activities. With reports of a number of important websites mysteriously going down around the world, one being the .gov.uk sites, which includes our own British Embassy, the good news is that the British Embassy here in Bangkok and Home Office sites are fully operational. News sites and business sites were targeted, but a check last night showed that the embassy site for Thailand was certainly fully functional. Thailand's daftest prisoners were recaptured this week. Two middle-aged lags had fled as they worked under minimal control in Lopri. They were both due shortly to be released, but instead fled and remained on the run for a few days. Now firmly back behind bars, their release dates will be significantly delayed. Meanwhile, at home and in our own province, the only COVID clusters of concern appear still to be in Sirachar, an ice-making factory and a wholesale market. For both, the spread has been small but considerable amongst family members and locals. A raid on a medical glove wholesale operation in our own area revealed pallets and pallets of gloves ready for retail, but no licence to deal in them, and no licensing to the current operatives from the manufacturer. As a protected and important part of the medical industry, full licensing is required for anyone dealing in medical gloves just as much as any other form of medical equipment. But there may be a twist to the tale, as despite the property originally being occupied by non-ties and ties together, and the goods having been secured by the same people, those who seem to have taken over the operation were not the same people. It's not known if the original group were licensed, but the police raid was a result of a tip-off. Investigations will continue for sure, and there's more to this story. Vaccination programmes are full-on in the city at most hospitals now, with appointments made by ties and non-ties over 60 or with underlying health issues. Private and public hospitals have allocated areas within their facilities for the treatments, and more supplies are promised this week to keep them busy. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters... Wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 34, dropping down to 30. Another hot day with a slight chance of storms. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.